Hi everyone, welcome to Carmen Catherine's Raves. So happy to have you. Welcome all my new subscribers. Hi, so we just got done doing a nice cute little centerpiece for the 4th of July. And now we are going to do another curly cue type of reef. And we are going to use the eyelash mesh like I did with the rodeo, fancy rodeo cowgirl reef. I'm going to use the leftover mesh from that. And then I also have some yellow eyelash mesh. So we're going to use this and the yellow. I have a bird that we're going to use from Dollar General. So we are going to add a little bit of blue. So I don't have the item number for the white eyelash mesh, but it is on fuzzyfabrics.com fuzzyfabric.com and this one is the yellow and the yellow is XB92202 okay and that is the yellow so they have the yellow where it's the wide metallic eyelash and then they have this is a, a white but it kind of looks like a ivory and this is the thin eyelash mesh so they have two different kinds and if you go on there they have certain colors they're in the 21 inch rolls and I cut them in half and then I cut them again into a 10 inch like 10 and a half inch quarters okay so I'm going to turn this down so we can get started. We're going to use the Dollar Tree 14 inch reef frame. Alright, so I will see you in just a second. Okay, so this is a really cute style. I'm going to trim that over there. Everyone likes it. Um, if you haven't seen the first time I used this, I've used it some in the um, this past Christmas, but I did a fancy rodeo reef and you'll be able to see it in the all white it's beautiful so please go check that out there is no ads on it right now somebody tagged my video I need as many views as possible to get that to turn green again so please go watch it so here we go you're just going to scrunch it up I put it through the bar this is your 14 inch from Dollar Tree it's the frame so you're going underneath it these are like I said it's the it's 21 inch mesh that I cut into 10 and a half inch squares so 10 by 10 and a half all right so I put it underneath the bar and then I cross it and this looks like lace very 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 beautiful thought we would do a cute little piece you're going to go over that first bar over the two pieces of mesh and they are crisscrossed We are going to be using a bird that I got from Dollar General. These are cable tie guns. This is um, Pro Kit. It's on Amazon for $18 or you can use the Walmart for $13.49 ABN. They're online only. I'm going to go around the whole bottom of the frame. We're going to put four in each. We are using the leftover roll. I used oh, half 
for roll, almost half, not quite, on the rodeo. So I used a little more because I only used six pieces of the blue eyelash. Mesh. This does not fray, by the way. It's cut with a rotary cutter. It's a metallic base mesh. It does cost a little more, but it's only $6.95 for shipping. And you can you can cut the roll in half. So instead of getting your 10 inch, you can get your 21 inch cut it in half and then cut it in your quarters. And if I need more of the yellow, I'll cut a piece in front of you because I still have some of that. See what I'm doing? It looks like lace. It's beautiful. So we're crisscrossing it. So cut this on uh, that fancy rodeo cowgirl reef. I cut this in front of everybody. So if you want to, please, please watch it. I didn't get a lot of views on it. it turned out really beautiful. the bottom so if you're worried about it touching and fraying up on you this is easy to seal I use the Walmart mats they're um, picnic mats to cover the backs of these ones that are cut kind of seals those ends in better that way the sealed ends right where I cut it right here are sticking out kind of helps with the fray more but you can like I said you can go the other way too So take your rocks to hold this down. You want to keep it more curly based. That one didn't work. That 
happens. It's an easy fix. I have a runny nose. This Carmen is getting a little sick. I think they're allergies because everything is blooming right now in Georgia. So. Okay. You can double zip tie this if that makes it easier. So there's several ways you can do this. I come up with this. I'm always playing with my mesh and trying to learn different ways to apply it. And I got an epiphany the other day. I was just playing around and I liked it. So I was like, oh, this is cute. This is really, really cute. So that's how I came up with it. zip tie in between the two pieces of the mesh. Pull it through around that bottom bar. applying this on the bottoms of the bar here. I'm going to do two in each section. So I have one here, one here, two there. And then we will go to our next part. Now remember with this you want to make sure that it's crisscrossed. Like I said, you can do horizontal, horizontal lines. You can mix it up. It looks like a lace. It's very, very, very beautiful. Just looks like a lacy type reef. It's really gorgeous. All right, so I'm gonna add one, two, one, two, and one, and two.
Yeah, I used some of this up on another project. One, two, and I have two left. We will be adding another color to this. So this is our bottom color and our curly Q part. So you have to get the bottoms like this. When we add on to our next two bars, we're gonna be adding on other colors. All right, so I will be right back. Okay, so I ended up changing the colors. Just the one, just one color. And we are using Paper Mart and it's an ivory. It's a cream gold metallic stripe. And the item number is 61416852, okay? It's ivory gold. I just didn't like the way it, the yellow or the blue I was gonna use looked with the bird. So, I want you to see how pretty this is. So we're gonna go ahead and Finish this up. Just going to add your curls, and like I said, this is more of a white. And this is a cream that we're adding in it. But it's two different colors, but it looks really pretty together. I'm just adding, just start going on to your bars. So I got the second bar. You can crisscross these two. And yes, you can put it under the bar, so I'll show you that way too. So if this makes it easier, you can crisscross it right here. Going up, see how curly that is? It's really cute. Or you can go over the zip tie already there and make it easier people's hands. Okay. Just like we did with the first one. You can go under the bar, but it might. Just like this. Crisscross it. You don't have to go over a bar. Three. The reason why is because you're going to go over bar four. And take it underneath. Thank 
crisscross it. You know, everyone knows I love paper mark. I could never say anything bad. I have them portable. And take zip tie, go around those two pieces. I did one, two here, one here. You wanted to add it onto bar three right here. Just one piece, because you don't need two, because it's already fluffy. Let's take it. I don't want to use the other colors. I thought it would take away from it. And I was right. There we go. R2. Under it. crossing it so under the bar then over the bar crisscrossing the two curls around bar two are you kidding me <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I told you I'm not dealing 100% today There's a bug going around um, base, and I seem to always catch it. My husband comes home, and we've got some weird bug. So I'm not 100% everyone. There we go. I wish I had more of this eyelash mesh. I really, really, really like it. So, go under bar two. Pull it through. Cross it, zip tie, flat side in with the zip tie. Over 
I always keep cream. Always. Because cream is a classy color. So I always keep cream and I like the metallic. I really, really, really like the metallic gold. So I do have ribbon too, so we will be doing that and I'll show you the ribbon I got from Old Time Pottery. I've got like these have the same ribbon, so I'll show you that in a second as well. Going to bar three just to add in just on top. Don't have to put it under the bar. Under bar two. This is a ten by ten inches, in case you're wondering. together look really pretty so it's gonna be beautiful okay. right here I don't have to go under the bar and you're adding your single pieces to fill it One of them's a leftover roll that I had from Christmas time, so that's 26. I'm taking it to 16. Oh, clean it out. It's too little, so I'm not going to be using this one.
doesn't take as much as everyone thinks about filling this. Because that was like a third. There's only a couple pieces of the other roll. So. If you don't want to put it under it, you can do it. Crisscross it on top of the bar as well. It just holds it in better when you go under the bar. It gives it more of a curl the bar is holding it down. So, it's completely up. to bar three, adding in. Just start filling it in. It's pretty. Really, really pretty. Under bar two. This is thick or as thick as you want. So you can fill it up, you can add colors. Um, usually it takes, if you're going to use the 10 inches, it only takes 
Gucci rolls of mesh to make this type of wreath. My husband's home. I am going to go and start filling this in. I still have the inner bar as well. So, I'm going to start adding on here to fill this little gap in. I need to cut a couple more pieces and I will be right back. So we're almost done. Okay, so it takes about two rolls, roll and a half of 10 inch mesh to do this if you're going to use your 10 inch okay if you use your 21 inch you can cut it in half and, you can, and it'll take one whole roll so this bird came from dollar general and take your floral wire is really cute. I'm going to tie it. I'm going to pull it through the center. You see why I call it the curly Q style? It's curly. It's really, really cute. Really, really cute. I love it. should say my subscriber, Birdo. He named it Curly Q. So the key is crisscross your mesh. That's the key if you want it to look like this. It's a crisscross. easy. And I'll cut that wire off and I'm done. It's really cute. So now you can add your ribbon. Now what I wanted to show you is at Old Time Pottery the ribbon is $2.99 10 yards. And I use this type of, I, this is a leftover I'm using from the frog. And um, it's an inch and a half, $2.99 and they have a sale going on. So about $2.20 once you get all the discounts. You can add a little bit of the light yellow with this. Do it about 15 inches. I can even add some teal that I have left over too. don't need a lot that's why I didn't pre-cut it because I'm not I don't want to use a lot not with this method because I want the mesh to show not just the ribbon okay this curly style is really really cute so 
So just go underneath, find a spot where you can get under the bar. And just put all three on there at once. really pretty. See how pretty it is? Full time pottery. They do have an online site but you can only buy in stores. It's a discount store. They have a lot of the same ribbon that you will find at Craft Outlet and at um, Hobby Lobby at a discount price. So, one of my favorite stores. They have locations all over the world. You can go online to look them up to see if one's in your location. All I'm doing is going through this, taking a zip tie around a bar. You just move your the curls around. Pinch your ribbon. I think I cut that one a little bit too long. I did. It's fine. Real picky, so it's really pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Don't want that where the birdie is, though. I'm going to move it around. I don't want to take away from the bird. So I'm going to add the ribbon. I think I'm going to do one, two, three, four, probably six. So let me go ahead and cut this up, and then we'll add the four more little bunches in here, and then we have a little bit of decor, and we're done. But I wanted to do this where you can actually see, I didn't want to cover it up with a bunch of ribbon. I wanted you to see how pretty this curly Q method is. It's really, really pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. So I'll be right back. So I decided that we're not going to do six. I'm only going to do four. All right. So I'm going to take these. I take all three of mine together. Take a zip tie. I don't want to take away from, like I said, the mesh. Because this style is really, really elegant. So, don't want to take away from it. Cut the ribbon in 14 inches, all right? The sheer turquoise I got from Hobby Lobby. And then the yellow one with the roses in it. And the teal one with the sunflowers in it is from Old Time Pottery. A lot of my people, we all started shopping there when we found out they sold ribbon and at discount prices so you might have to drive a few hours to get to the one closest to you it's not in every state they do have quite a bit though so you have to look it up online to see if it's in your state this one's a little bit longer See 
it would just take away if we did too much. So I'm going to take some Dollar Tree flowers. A little glue pot. I got some glue ones. If you're trying to find these glue that's in like a little vase, and there's four of them, I want to put them right in the ribbon. And um, they're a dollar, a Dollar Tree. Really cute look. It's just a, it's a girly look. It's a pretty girly look. Take the little yellow ones. I do need to add more glue to my glue pot. I'm working on projects. So. Take a little bit of yellow since we have yellow. dryer if you get any pieces of a little runny glue on there. I might even take that one flower out. Here we go. It's really, really pretty. Here you go. It's absolutely gorgeous, everyone. Absolutely. I'll go take some pictures so everyone can see it. You don't have to cover the back. I cover the backs. Um, I use the plastic mats, as most of you know. You get them from Walmart. They're pre-cut. They have little holes in the back. They're nice and sturdy. Especially if you're going to use this style. Just place it right over there. Put a little ribbon on it to hang it. This will seal the back of it. Flatten it out because this is poofy here. That way it's nice and flat. None of your mesh is going to get caught on anything. Alright. Take zip ties. A6000 spray it twice. It can go on ribbon and on floral. And then your Mod Podge acrylic sealer all right and that can go on ribbon that can go on mesh and your floral all right and you can both buy both of those at walmart so let's just put this up like this like share subscribe everybody have a blessed night bye